Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm so excited about YouTube that I thought that I would do my second reveal video today. Um, I am also doing this because I think it's sort of a timely issue right now. So um, this reveal is going to address a new purchase that I made in July of a beige Chanel boy bag. And I was actually lucky enough to have my sister be able to get it for me because she was traveling to Ireland. And she stopped at Heathrow because the um, Brexit had just happened and the value of the pound was falling. And so the two of us both got the same bag and we were able to score an excellent deal on them. And I know there's been a lot of talk about, you know, what exactly are the savings and how exactly does it work when you buy a bag over in Europe and then you have to deal with the VAT, V-A-T, um, refund. So this was my experience. I don't know if this is going to be the same for everybody, but um, here we go. So here is the bag that my sister purchased for herself and me. Um, this is the new medium Chanel boy bag. And the way I remember, you know, there's an old medium and a new medium. And the way that I remember the new medium is that bigger is always better. So um, they wanted to upgrade to something that was new and bigger and better. So this is bigger than the old medium boy bag. Um, the measurements, just in case anybody was wondering, and I can go into this in further detail in another reveal if anybody wants, but um, the bag measures 11, 11 inches across, and it's about 7 inches high, and then the width is about 3 inches, like, give or take. And this is, a, this is different than the, uh, the Celine reveal I did yesterday. This bag is definitely more structured than the Celine bag, so um, I'll go into a little bit of, like, what fits inside at the end, although that's not really the point of this kind of reveal video, but um, those are the measurements. So here in Chicago, um, in the United States, I believe the price of the bag right now is $5,200. The old medium, I think, is still $4,700, and then I think the really big one is $5,700, the large. So I know for sure that this is $5,200. In Chicago, we have 10% sales tax, so that would run you about $5,700 when you're out the gate. So um, my sister goes to Heathrow. Just so you know, in the event that you're looking for something specific or you have a very limited amount of time between flights or when you get there for whatever reason, call ahead. Um, if you call the Chanel boutiques within 24 hours of when you're going to arrive at Heathrow, there are two Chanel boutiques. I think one is in Terminal 3 and one is in Terminal 5. Um, they are so helpful. They will tell you what they have in stock and they'll put it aside for you for 24 hours. So um, just know that that's like a really good option because when I called, you know, I know people are always looking for the black with gold and the black with silver. I know they had those boy bags in. Um, they did not have any classics, although I think from time to time they do pop up. Um, at least the minis do and some of the seasonal flaps like the tweed, um, you know, and the kind of the fancier seasonal flaps will pop up at Heathrow. But, um, but anyway, so uh, we called ahead. I put this one on reserve because my sister had very little time and I wanted her to be able to spend the time she needed to pick out her bag. Um, so this I put, this bag I put on hold 24 hours before we went there. Or sorry, she went there. And when she got there, I don't remember what the price was in pounds, but she did not receive the benefit of the VAT refund in Heathrow. You don't get it back there. You get it back when you're actually exiting. So um, a big note to self is if you're, so in her situation, she was traveling from California to Heathrow to Ireland and when she left Ireland, she had a direct flight back to California, and that is when she was able to claim the refund, and she needed to have the bag with her. So whatever you do, don't buy a ton of bags at Heathrow, and then con continue traveling without having them with you when you actually need to get your VAT refund back. Um, what I can tell you is that the approximate price of this bag after it was purchased at Heathrow, and then my sister received the VAT refund, um, was thirty about thirty eight hundred dollars. So we saved about nineteen hundred dollars purchasing the boy bag um, 
at Heathrow and then bringing it home. So it was actually ultimately an amazing savings. When she did buy the bag, um, the pound to dollar conversion was 1.33 to 1. And I know I just looked it up today. So for August 17 of 2016, the conversion is 1.3 to 1. So you'd actually probably save yourself a little bit more money if you were, for example, going today to buy the boy bag. So um, that's kind of the deal. That's what my experience was with Heathrow and with this gorgeous bag that I love. So um, in terms of the bag, I already went through the measurements. Um, it has a strap that you can wear singly or doubly. I don't think that this is a good um, bag for crossbody. I think it's definitely more of a shoulder bag. Um, again, I'm 5'5", five five and that would hit about right at the hip. If you wear a crossbody, it's a little high in my opinion, but um, I did the measurements. The length of the strap is 18 inches. And then if you double it to wear it more as a shoulder bag, I'd say you're gonna get about 10 inches out of it. So it's gonna kind of hit right around your rib cage. Um, to me, both, uh, both style or ways to wear the bag are very comfortable. So as far as what fits inside this thing, um, I have some of the stuff that I had yesterday in the Celine reveal, and we're just going to put it in here and see what happens. So um, this is the inside of the boy bag. It's pretty basic. It's cloth. It's got a cloth interior like a nylon. It has this pocket right here that would be on the front of the bag. It has the Chanel logo and then a zip pocket in the back. So otherwise, there's not really a whole lot going on. It's just kind of like a big square. Um, so I'm just going to pack in what I had yesterday. I'm starting with a new wallet. So today I'm using, I've had this guy for ages. It's a, I don't know if you can tell, but it's like an army green, like a forest green patent wallet. I bought this thing maybe eight years ago. It was a long time ago. So we'll fit him in there. We will do our card case. We need that today. Pop that in there. Um, we have our keys. This is my little Louis Vuitton key pouch. Um, super convenient. Pop that in there. My mirror. I'm going to put that in that front pocket that I showed before. We have the correspondence wallet. Um, for those of you who didn't see the video yesterday, this is just a great little wallet that I... Um, have for um, cards. So you can always write little notes on the go. I have stationery and stuff in here. Super cute. Just shove that in. And then the last thing is this gigantic kind of O case. This came from the inside of a Mansur Gabrielle bucket bag. And that I think we're actually kind of out of space on. So I'm going to hold this up, but that is it pretty well. Let's see if we can get a good shot. Not really. Pretty well packed. Yeah, it's really hard to see. Well, anyway, it has um the wallet, the green wallet, the black card case, the mirror, my keys, and the correspondence wallet in it. So it doesn't fit as much as I might want it to, um, but it's my favorite size of all of them. I just think I'm too short for the uh, large size. But anyway, this is my Chanel beige. That's my little evaluation of how that kind of played out with Brexit. For any of you um, going, if you have any questions for me, just give me a ring. I know if it's helpful at all, I know online you can look up the price of the bag in pounds, and then if you just apply the conversion rate, that's going to give you a good idea of what the price will be when you're at Heathrow, and then I believe the VAT refund is about 12, 10 to 12% 12 back. So um, hopefully this helps. Um, thank you again for stopping by. Uh, please feel free to subscribe, to like. Um, comments are always appreciated. I know I'm really new to this, so hopefully you guys have been enjoying these videos so far. Please let me know what I can do to help, and what kind of videos you're all looking for and I can probably hook it up. Thank you so much.